Hey subscribers and watchers from Slightnerd, this is Vivs here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make swipe tabs in Android. Now this is again one of the most wanted topics out there if you guys are beginners. And there is not a clear, concise explanation available for this if you search on YouTube. So in this video, let's take a look at this. So the first question as beginners you probably wonder what are swipe tabs. Let's take a look at the statement here. So here we have uh, our app running with just three tabs and there is something which says this is fragment A. Then as you swipe towards the left, you want to move to the right. And what happens is you go from fragment A to fragment B. And also notice a change from tab 1 which was highlighted initially, you have tab 2. But even otherwise, if you don't swipe, if you click on tab 2 at the top, you are still going to be taken to fragment B. In other words, there are two options, click on the tab to go to the next fragment or swipe the page to go to the next fragment and that is why it is called swipe tab so the two main parts is one swipe and two tab so for swiping we use a view pager and for tabbing we use action bar dot tab so let's take a look at a little more detail about how both these things work together to create our swipe tabs step one set up the view pager now if you guys have seen my previous video about the scroll tab you know very well how the view pager works. If you haven't seen that, please go back and check that video out because there's a lot of things with the view pager itself that I'm not going to be explaining in this video because I've already done that in the last video. So the view pager uses an implementation of pager adapter, which in reality is either fragment pager adapter or fragment state pager adapter. Now this has a method like get item zero, which means the view pager ask the adapter hey show me the item for position number zero the adapter says this is fragment a this is your item then the view pager says get item for position one your adapter returns fragment b it says get item for position two it returns fragment c and so on so inside the get item method check the position and return the fragment at that given position and this is your responsibility as far as the view pager is concerned step two set up the action bar so if you guys remember this top bar that you have in your Android apps after honeycomb is known as the action bar. You just get a reference to this by saying action bar is get action bar. Now remember this works only after API version 11. If you want to do this for gingerbread you probably have to use a support library or a custom library like Sherlock action bar. So now let's talk about this. We have to create tabs. So I'm going to say action bar dot tab. Tab 1 is action bar dot new tab. Now here in this case, in this diagram, there are three tabs. So we have to make three different objects here of action bar dot tab. So let's see how one of those objects is made. So first, if you may want to make one tab, you simply create the object. You set the text of tab one and that appears right here. Then you also add something called tab listener. Now what happens when you select the tab? What happens when you move away from tab one to tab two? Those are the kind of events that are handled by this tab listener and eventually you have to add that tab to your action bar now this is a step which I keep forgetting all the time remember unless you add the tab you're not gonna see it on the screen over here now step 3 is to monitor the tab changes now like I said adding tabs like this is nothing it's just like adding a pair, pair of buttons over there and just wondering what is gonna happen but what you actually want to do is when the user selects a tab you want to change the content below when the user switches from tab 1 to tab 2, you want to change the content below, right? And for that, you have to monitor the changes in the tab by using something called action bar dot tab listener. This has three methods. One is on tab selected. Whenever a given tab is selected, this method is called on tab reselected. When you select the same tab again and again, this on tab reselected method is called. And then you have on tab unselected. When you go from tab 1 to tab 2, Tab 1 is unselected and tab 2 is selected. So let us exactly see how these three methods work in a little more detail now. So let's take a small example to understand what are the different events that get fired when the user goes from tab 1 to tab 2. First of all, my app starts and as you guys notice on tab selected is being called over here. Now when I click on tab 1 again, it's going to call on tab reselected tab 1. Again you click on that, again on tab reselected will be called. Now some of you guys are wondering why is this on tabs reselected method present because sometimes you might want to check if this is the first time the user is clicking tab 1 
or is it the subsequent time or maybe you want to also count the number of times the user has been on tab 1 and that can be achieved with this on tab reselected method now when you go ahead to tab 2 take a look at the different events over here now first of all on tab unselected tab 1 is called just like I mentioned first tab 1 is unselected and then tab 2 is selected but notice on tab reselected also gets called over there so now that you guys have figured out the methods to analyze what changes are happening in the tabs we also want to monitor what changes are happening in our view pager for that we use the view pager dot on page change listener that is responsible for monitoring these changes it has again three methods but for our case that is swipe tabs this is the most important method which is on page selected int position that means when a new page you go from page number zero to page number one that is going to be triggered and here you will get that position of one over here so again if you see there are other methods like on page scroll state changed now whether the user is idle on that page whether the user is dragging that page to scroll it or something that can be triggered with this on page scroll state changed and then there's the on page scrolled that represents the actual scrolling now for these two methods I'll be showing you guys exactly in the next video what and how these methods work because basically they make a lot of method calls which I'm not able to post here in my presentation so we guys will be understanding this better when we watch the real working of this thing but for now let's just focus on this on page scrolled tells the position where you're trying to scroll and it has value from 0 to 1 which means 0 is it when the page is not scrolled and 1 when you have completely scrolled the page from fragment 1 to fragment 2 and of course it also specifies the number of pixels you have scrolled now again remember if you are not clear about these two methods don't worry about that in the next video we will take a visual working of this in the log cat and try to see what happens when we try to scroll the page so ultimately the most important part about swipe tabs is to link those actions together that means here in your view pager when you switch between different pages you want to ensure that your action bar is also keeping track of that changes that means if I switch from fragment A to fragment B by using the view pager I want to change from tab 1 to tab 2 inside the action bar and vice versa now notice this when I click on tab 1 in here down in the view pager it should change from fragment B to fragment B so in other words we have dual relationships out here when the view pager changes change the action bar when the action bar changes change the view pager it is as simple as saying that and this is probably the trickiest part inside the whole idea of having a swipe tab because if you're beginners then this seems pretty confusing to most people out there but don't worry you'll clearly understand what is going on so here as we notice when the view pager changes to a new page what we can have is the on page selected method of that on page change listener and there we can change the action bar to point to that same position where the view pager is going and when the action bar goes to some tab you can use the on tab selected method so like you go from tab 1 to tab 2 we can fire the on tab selected for tab 2 and based on that position of tab 2 change the view pager to fragment B by saying view pager dot set current item so in the next video we will work this out on Android studio or Eclipse I'm not sure about this because someone did request me to make the video on Eclipse so in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let us know your thoughts and I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day